So this video, I'm going to work through scraping the bearings. So first I gotta take all the oil felts out and get that all dried out and cleaned off. Because as I figured out before with the Sharpie, you have to have things dry for this to work. And then I'm gonna use the Prussian blue that I got that I had fixed a tube for. That turned out to work really well. You do have to have enough of a layer for it to have an impact, but that worked out. And there you can see, after the first one, it's not very full coverage. So then I use the scraper that I've got on eBay, and that's a Babbitt scraper, and I just go through both sides. I tried to make a groove along the edge. We'll see if that ends up working later. It was just a narrow or a thin groove, but after the first one, this is round two, coverage is a little bit better. So, repeat, do it again! And... You can see, just repeating the scraping. And the cool thing about that is, it's depending on where you're pushing is where it scrapes. So it just takes a little bit of practice to get the scraping part where you're trying to clear out the blue. And you only want to sc scrape the blue to lower it. And there's round three, more coverage. Initially that side didn't have anything towards the center, now it's a lot better. So each time it's getting better, so that's good. And it does take a while. It was a total of an hour and a half of footage that I'm shrinking down into this video. There's round four. More blue. More blue is good. Do it again. So yeah. It takes a while. And it does not take very much off, but you can see up there on the t-shirt piece, the little bits that are coming off. And so it is, it is taking some of the metal off. There's round five. We have even more blue which is good. And again, repeat, going along. It takes a while, but it does work. And this is not a video of learning how to scrape. There's lots of better videos on learning how to scrape. I watched some of them to, to try and do this. There's round six. You can see there's a lot more blue than when we started, so that's a big improvement. And... I think this was the last batch of what I did for these, this bottom section. I figured if this is enough, we should be good. Hopefully that won't have messed it up. I don't think it did. I don't know. I had, put, I had to put more on just to see. Yeah, blew the whole way across. That was good. All right. So after seven, seven or eight, we have a much more blue surface and it goes the whole way across especially on this side before it was just spotty blue now with more bluing on it actually comes the whole way over which is good so I'm hoping that means that the bottom is at least at a good stable state to try and start working on the top part so we'll see how that works but that's what I'm gonna try and yeah and the blue the fix for the blue Worked great. I'm only squeezing, getting stuff out of the top, and that completely sealed up, so that's fine. All right, so next, try and figure out and or work on the top bits. See how that goes. All right, so now it's time to tie this, the caps. So, blew it up the top, and I'm trying to not swirl the shaft around more than like three quarters of a turn. And clear that off. Initially, the caps definitely did not have good coverage. But by the end, they did. Each time, again, a little bit better, which is good. Yep, we did a couple rounds here. And then we go again. There we go. All right, after several rounds two or three rounds cleaning the caps that looks much better I also removed some layers because since I removed stuff that way it clamps a little harder because it was not tight enough now that I've cleaned off the bottoms and was working cleaning off the top so I removed some layers of cereal box cardboard but the non pulley side now looks like that which, there's blue the whole way across. Pretty much, 
side to side almost the whole way across. And on the pulley side, it's much better than it was. With the glare, it's hard to see. Let's see if I bring it over into the, the better lighting. That sort of problem is it's shiny. So it doesn't work. Yeah, that's that's kind of okay. It's at least way better than it was. It's still not perfect. This side could still use a little bit and such. So I might still do one more. All right, one more round of cleaning and then we hopefully will be good with the caps. Or at least good for now. Again, this is a try again if needed process. But I think it's going to be all right. All right, did one more round. And I think it did pretty good. I'm hoping so anyway. There's blue the whole way across. And it's thinner blue in some spots because you can see based on here that it's all smeared most of the way. A couple spots it isn't. It's thicker, but, but it is getting there. It is making progress. It is definitely making progress because on the pulley side it initially only had blue on one side and now there's blue the whole way across. It used to only have blue at the outside edge. Now there's blue the whole way down along. So this is a process. I may this I may put all this back together, try it, and hey, it's not quite right, and I have to tweak it again. All right. So here I'm putting the oil felts back down in, uh, on the bottoms and on the sides, and getting the caps all sorted. And I can't tighten them very well or very much because they bind, but hopefully that will either wear in or I'll have to add some more stuff. Here I'm just testing it before I add a bunch of the oil back in, but the, the felts are still wet with oil. And I didn't run it very long. It should be fine. But it spun up, and it didn't have a lot of vibration. All right, well, at least for now, I think both sides of the bearing are scraped in. I can't tighten the... Because I removed the cardboards, I may either have to find thinner cardboards or let it sit for a while and compress because I can do just barely slightly more than hand tight and then it gets too stiff to turn the shaft which means it's right at the borderline of too tight but that's fine as long as they don't loosen up while we're using it should be fine the key is just keep it so it doesn't wobble and it should not wobble and I put 30 weight oil in that new ISO 100 stuff that I got. I put that in to soak back in and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try and put less in than I did before. Before I kept it so that it was above, above the opening. Now I'm gonna try and have less in there, probably only part way up. And see if that does better and doesn't leak out as much. I'm hoping since that's a tighter fit and it vibrates way less that that will be have less tendency to go out the end. I also did a minor scratch, not super deep, so it's probably not going to do much, but I did a minor scratch along the outside, the inside of the outside edge on that bearing. And I do have the felt that I can try and put in if need be, but I'm going to do step by step versus trying a bunch of stuff and then if nothing works, I wasted a bunch of effort. So first step, scraping in, and then let the oil soak in. That'll probably take a while to rehydrate the um, felt that goes underneath. And then once that's all sorted, I may do another temperature test, not necessarily running it with under load, but just a temperature test, just let it run, and then see how these do and see if there's a big difference. The big thing is if this is working better is one, if both bearings have more of an even temperature between the two, and also if on this bearing, both sides of the cap have similar temperature versus more than 10 degrees difference between the two sides. But that's not today, that'll be a different day. It has to, the, the oil has to soak in, so. I think that's all I'm gonna get done this weekend, but the motor worked. Oh, and I also spray painted the bottom with just the white primer to try and seal the wood a little bit in case oil does drip more. Then it'll be easier to clean up versus it soaks into the wood. It's a garage thing. Not that it matters, but I'd rather be able to wipe stuff up versus have it soak in. That's it.